All right, so Property Brothers, today is at the Eden at Tampines, and we're going to see a top floor three bedroom unit. And I think you're going to love this home tour. Why don't yes. you check out the rest of the place with Adrian and uh, myself together? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we are at the unit right now, and this is a one, two, three, eight square feet, fantastic wide living room layout, three bedroom at the Eden at Tampines, and the key feature is actually the ceiling height. Adrian, how high is the ceiling? The ceiling height is super high; it's three point seven nine meters. Right, and this extra ceiling height is actually a bonus because for this entire stack, all the floor plate is actually exactly the same at one, two, three, eight square feet, yes. steppable area. But for the top floor, you have this extra bonus and an extra so-called top-hung windows that brings in extra brightness into your place. Definitely, right? yep. It's one, two, three square feet, right. three bedroom, three bathroom, very livable for your family. We have enclosed kitchen, very practical for cooking-wise. You can see that the layout is very wide span, very good size for your living and your dining together. Right, so Eden and Tampines is located very near to St. Hilda's Primary School, which is one of the very popular schools in Tampines. And of course, Tampines now has become a hub of the East. Probably takes about seven minutes walk, you can reach uh, Tampines East MRT. Very convenient, you can uh, connect to every part of uh, Singapore. I think the beauty is right downstairs from the back gate. It links straight to Tampines Mart, which is this mini town center of this portion here with like McDonald's, fast food, giant supermarket, and tons of shop and grocery shopping for your family needs as well. So let's have a look at the foyer area. So what we love about so-called properties that was done in the early 2000s, this was actually TOP in year 2003. So if you notice during that season, most of the developers, how they configure the layout is they want a lot of livable space for the family. So the moment you walk in you have a small foyer entrance but the moment you walk in you reach this entire livable space and this part some of the units they actually created like an open kitchen island with some like, breakfast chairs so you can have this additional panel space as a carpentry for your dry kitchen layout and so the beauty is that you also have an enclosed kitchen very practical for your right. family cooking you do heavy cooking just close up this uh, panel and then you still have the windows to dispel out the air. Very good size burner as well and also a washing area. Right, so the carpentry has also been very well maintained. As what Adrian mentioned, it is a nice squarish space yes. with a top and bottom cabinets. And also there's this side cabinet along the wall for additional storage space as well. There is also a separate yard, which is very good size, internal refuse system and a bomb shelter here for your storage and also a yard toilet. So the yard size is really great. You can stack up a washer dryer right here. Windows are huge. You can actually install retractable close drying system and push outwards towards the yard window. Okay, so coming out to the living space, this is what we call a wide angle living layout because either you have the longish kind of living layout or you have this kind of wide angular layout which I think a lot of families would love to have because you have huge windows that actually brings in the brightness towards your living and your dining space. Yes, and also not forgetting this unit itself faces the swimming pool area. Right, very towards the clubhouse away. also. Yes, correct. It's also very far away from the next building and so you have a lot of privacy to your own. In in terms of the kids pool and the adults pool, it actually covers a lot of the land size of the entire project so your family and kids is going to love it. It has full facilities, kids playground, tennis court and clubhouse and gym as well. Why don't we have a look at the master room? Wow, I think Eden, one of the key highlights is the master room which is very big in size. Right. You can put a queen bed, king bed and two side tables. Not a problem at all. Over here, you have about six panel of wardrobe space enough for his and hers over here. Yeah, and I think because this is a wide layout, it's very easy to place your furniture in the master room. The ensuite bathroom is not facing the bed as well. In terms of your bathroom finishings, it has also been very, very well maintained from day one. Yeah, so coming back to the living, the moment you walk up from your master, this is the view that you will get. Fantastic. Your dining space is very spacious. You can feed up to an eight-seater dining table and it also overlooks towards the living room TV console space. Size is one of the plus points here, one, two, three square feet, but a lot of livable space. Take note that Eden has no balcony. It has full 
high panel windows. So for those of you who really treasures livable space, this is something that you would like to have. The common bathroom is not facing towards the dining space. So a lot of thought has been put into designing the layout, I felt. Common bathroom is great size as well. If you notice the two common bedrooms, this is the third room, sunken wardrobe is being flushed against the wall with four panels of wardrobe space to fit in the queen bed plus a study table and stuff like that is definitely not an issue so come let's take a look at the other rooms this is the second bedroom it's regular in shape and size a queen bed how many condos that a common bedroom can fit a queen bed with so much space over here you still have four panels of wardrobe space flooring for all the bedrooms are parquet and uh, not forgetting the living hall is nicely done with marble flooring all right, so now that you've seen the entire place, let's talk a little bit more about this particular layout inside this development itself. So if you bring out the site plan, there are many different facings. So some of the facings of the units here are actually towards the outer facing. So you get to see the rest of the Tampanese estate. Yes. And uh, if you're internal facing like this unit, you get to see the pool and the clubhouse. All right, so if you're a lover of Tampanese and you want to be able to walk to the Tampanese East MRT station in seven minutes time, you want to have the mini town center right downstairs at your doorstep full facilities condo development with three beds three baths and a store and a yard now the per square foot asking price is only 888 <laughs> all right it's about 888 dollars per square foot so if your investment quantum range for a property is around the range of about 1.1 million for this 1238 square feet three bedroom on the top floor i think this unit at the either at templates is definitely one of the key choices for you now do click on the link below as well we have created a checklist for condo lovers in the east so if you are looking to buy a condo in Tampines or Passeries click on the checklist below we have several steps for you to tick off when you are selecting the right development for your own stay plus investment yes. all right so uh, give us a call i'm melvin lim adrian lim property, property lim brothers, brothers. Always, always happy, happy to show the place, place. Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place.